Hello everyone, we're iRender. As you may know, iRender provides high configuration computers for rendering. You will connect to our computers via window remote desktop and then you will have full control of them just like you are using your own machines. In this video, we'll show you a speed correlation between server single RTX 3090 and newly launched server RTX 4090 of iRender. To be fair, Today we will test a demo scene in Twin Motion, February 3rd, 2023. Let's get started. We will render simultaneously on our single RTX 3090 server and our latest server RTX 4090. Since connecting to the server and installing software have been mentioned many times in our previous videos. So in this video, we will skip this part and go directly to the rendering speed comparison. As you can see, the estimated time when using these two graphic cards has a very clear difference. Obviously, we all know this is a demo scene, so it is difficult that we always get twice the performance with every project. This depends on size, complexity, and settings of your project. However, we can completely come to the conclusion that the performance of the RTX 4090 card is far superior to that of the RTX 3090. It's not quite surprising that the render time on server RTX 4090 is almost twice the speed on server RTX 3090. With this scene, it only took 32 minutes 50 seconds to render on server RTX 4090 while RTX 3090 took 58 minutes 54 seconds. Thank you for watching and don't hesitate to give us a try with our latest configuration for Twinmotion. 